Is affiliate marketing worth it in 2022? If affiliate marketing is something you are looking to dive into, this video is going to show you 13 reasons why the answer to that question is an absolute yes. Let's check it out. Quick reminder to check out the links in the video description below, including the training I owe all my success to create your free starter account and get me as your support coach. What's up everyone? Eric from workfromyourlaptop.com here. We are covering the question, is affiliate marketing worth it in 2022? Now I am a huge advocate for affiliate marketing. It's been the best business decision I've made. I got started with affiliate marketing in 2017. And if you follow me on Instagram, Batman Travels, all these amazing places I've traveled to, all the pictures, the videos, the reels are owed 100% to this business that I was able to build that funds all these travels, letting me go to all these amazing places I never thought I'd have an opportunity to go to. And if I can be successful with it, a firefighter of 20 years who had never built a website before <laughs> in his life, if I can do it, anyone can do it. So for this discussion, giving you 13 reasons why you should get started with affiliate marketing, I'm gonna be referring, we're gonna go right directly from the full article at workfromyourlaptop.com. Is affiliate marketing worth it in 2022? 13 reasons to get started. I'll actually embed this video into the article. That way, if you want to deep dive into it and take a look later at your leisure, you can absolutely do that. I'll put a link down in the video description below. So let's dive in, right? Here is the first direct answer to the question, is affiliate marketing worth it in 2022? With little to no money to invest, affiliate marketing can be very lucrative with high commissions and no limit to the number of revenue sources you can create. In 2022, affiliate marketing is absolutely booming. Why? Let's take a look at the 13 reasons. Number one, affiliate marketing is booming as an industry. This has to do with the obsession that everyone seems to have of buying things online. In fact, truelist.co lists on their affiliate marketing statistics. At number 13, affiliate marketing is estimated to be worth $12 billion globally. It is a global phenomenon and it is trending upwards massively. Now, if you are new to the idea of affiliate marketing, you might be asking, what is affiliate marketing? How does it work? What does online business have to do with this trend? Well, in a nutshell, affiliate marketing is all about connecting people with the products and services they're already searching for online. That's the bottom line of it. We're connecting people with the products they're already searching for online. You've probably been a part of the affiliate marketing process many times over if you've ever bought anything online and not even known it. As an example, let's say we can take a look at this graphic right here on the screen. Let's say you are going on, uh, you're like me and you're getting ready to go travel somewhere and you want to find the best pocket size travel camera, right? You maybe do a Google search, best pocket size travel camera, right? You find some articles that pop up on page one, you click on one, has a list of all these great cameras you can choose. You're looking at uh, the different reviews and the specs, the pros, the cons. You find one you like, you click on the link that says buy from Amazon or buy from Best Buy, buy from Apple, what have you. When you do that, you're connected directly with the merchant that then takes care of the rest. You buy that from the merchant. Well, what you probably didn't realize is the link you clicked on, the buy now at, that's an affiliate link. The reviewer that created that content is an affiliate marketer. And that link, now the merchant can go back and track through that link and realize this is the person that referred that customer who made that purchase to us. We're gonna give him or her a commission. and It'll be a percentage based on the total price of that product. As you can see, this can happen over and over and over again. And it is a process that so many of us go through and it's very passive. We don't even realize we're going through it. But that's affiliate marketing in a nutshell. Because of that, that takes us to the next point. Unlike traditional business, it's very little money needed to get started, right? All you really technically need 
is an internet connection to be an affiliate marketer? Now you might be asking some very relevant questions. Okay, but how do I partner with trusted merchants? How do I get paid? How do I build a website? Is it hard to build a website? How do I promote products? How do I get traffic to my content? Just like with anything else, obviously, you're gonna need some training, right? To understand the process. With affiliate marketing, traffic is the lifeblood of affiliate marketing. If you don't have eyes on your content, then you have no potential for any kind of revenue, right? So yes, you do need some training to understand how to create content, how to understand what are the most popular searches your target audience is making so you can then create content that answers those questions. I found all my success with an affiliate marketing training platform that I recommend above all others. At the very end of this video, you can actually create a free starter account with it to, to try it out free first to see if it's a good fit. And at the end screen, at the end of this video, you'll have a couple videos you can take a look at and continue here on YouTube that'll answer all the questions you could ever have with this training platform. You even get me as a support coach. So very, very low overhead when you're getting started, even free to get started. Point number three, Affiliate programs are everywhere. Truelist.co explains, and I'll click on this link, that over 80% of brands have affiliate programs. That means no matter what niche you decide to get in, let's say you're in you know, the travel niche or photography niche, or let's say you're a woodworker or you're a foodie and you have a niche website built all around you know, recipes or plant-based diet, what have you. No matter what your niche, you're going to be able to find an affiliate program, merchants that will say, hey, uh, we would love for you to promote some of our products and we'll give you commissions. Because think about it from the merchant's perspective. They want more and more people, especially, it's like a, a new take on word of mouth advertising, the online business, right, when you're promoting things. You're saying, hey, this is something, I'm like you, I share your interests whether it's a foodie, plant-based diet, travel photography, I share your interest, I've created this article on why I would love something like this, you'd probably like it too. These affiliate programs are everywhere because the merchants realize this is the perfect advertising. Instead of wasting money on billboards that maybe never get seen, I'm now, <clears throat> I'm now paying for this advertising after the purchase has been made. It's a win-win from both directions. So these affiliate programs are everywhere and they're actually free to join. That brings us to the very next point. It's like I wrote this article. <laughs> affiliate programs are free to join. For all the reasons we just discussed, merchants want you to promote their products and services. And when you are an advocate for whatever it is, no matter what niche you're in, and you're now bringing people, referring them to these merchants, they are happy to give you a commission based on the total price of that sale. Now, affiliate programs, they're different. They're not all the same amount of percentage uh, that you're going to earn, but you can earn absolutely massive commissions. Now understand, like I just said, some affiliate programs will give you a five to 10% commission, some will give you 50%, some will give you 75, even 100% commission. But according to monitorbacklinks.com, let's click right here on their article, the ultimate breakdown of average affiliate commission rates. The average affiliate commission rate, taken into account a variety of factors, an average affiliate commission rate should be somewhere between 5% and 30%. Now, you can hit that golden ticket of finding a single commission that has like a six-figure commission, right? Let me take a look at this article right here. Huge $100,000 affiliate commission from one sale. Now, obviously, these are $64,000 for one sale. Those are, you know, the, the unicorns. You're not really gonna be finding that day in, day out, but understand that it's actually possible. But for the majority of us, what we're doing is through volume, through over and over people seeing that article that you wrote one time, but it continues to work for you. That's where you can get your commissions. Now, if you were able to be uh, to promote a service where they have recurring monthly uh, purchases from whoever you're promoting to, that can result in monthly re recurring monthly commissions. Now, 
the training platform that I owe all my success to has an optional affiliate program. It's by no means mandatory, but it's a solid one. And in fact, this was my biggest month that I had with them, $7,000 a month. That's massive, right? And it's just from continuing little small commissions that build up. So the commissions, you can have massive commissions from one sale. You can have a whole boatload that add up to it. Commissions are a massive reason why affiliate marketing is still worth in 2022. Point number six, you're not limited to just one affiliate program. You can go big with multiple streams, right? If you are in, again, say like the travel photography niche, you can have all these different merchants that provide uh, all these different cameras and you can be actually an affiliate for every single one of those. Also, there's uh, big brokers, affiliate product brokers where they cover a ton of different products and you can be an affiliate with them. And there, are very, there aren't any like uh, uh, agreements where you can only be an affiliate with us. It's a wide open race, right? So you can actually be affiliated with several different affiliate programs. It's like more and more hooks in the water to where you can get paid. The learning curve, point number seven, the learning curve is low in, in learning affiliate marketing. Like we said at the top, of course, like with anything else, you need to get trained, but it's relatively straightforward, right? As someone who never had any kind of background in affiliate marketing, I can tell you if I can be successful with it, anyone can be successful with it. Again, I will link to the uh, training platform that I owe all my success to. You can take a look, create a free starter account. You're probably like me, you base your decisions not on what someone else tells you, but on what you see for yourself. To me, that's the best way to get understanding. Create a free starter account, see if it's a good fit. You're able to dive in, get a taste of it. It actually is focused on you actually learning. So if you focus on learning, the learning curve is low and you can absolutely get started and start having uh, success in a relatively fast pace. Point number eight, you have the freedom to build in any niche of your choosing. So many of these other training platforms that I was telling you about, they're not really teaching true affiliate marketing. All they're teaching is how to buy their product and then turn around and resell it. That's just buy and resell, right? That's not true affiliate marketing. With true affiliate marketing, you can go into any niche of your choosing. If you want to go into a food-based niche, if you wanna go into a travel niche, if you want to go into a chess-related niche, you can actually build websites in every single one of these niches and have basically like multiple businesses running it's great freedom to have, right? And that is what true affiliate marketing is, connecting people with what they're looking for in any niche of your choosing. Now, the best way to choose a niche is to go with something that you have a real interest in, right? I have a full video on choosing a profitable niche. I'll put it up at the top over here and I'll put a link down below so you can take a look at that as well. So many people try and think of, okay, maybe I can find an untapped niche or a niche that has really high ticket items, that's not the way to approach it. I think that's a big hurdle that a lot of people don't realize. They're kind of making themselves go uphill because if they don't have a real interest in these products or in that niche, you're not gonna come off as someone who's real. You're gonna come off just as like a salesman or a saleswoman. You wanna have a real interest in these, these niches that you're creating a business in because that puts you smack dab in the middle of your own target audience. That makes it to where your audience has some trust in you. They say, this is someone who's just like me. If I'm promoting a camera, but I hate traveling and I hate taking pictures, <laughs> do you think that's really gonna work? Probably not. You wanna be someone that says, hey, on my last trip, this is the camera that I wanted to use so badly. That way they say, man, this person's just like me. That's what I'm gonna be doing too. That's how you come across as sincere to your target audience. And truly, sincerity and honesty is what's gonna get you success. Don't consider, don't be thinking about commissions. Be real, be a real person. That is how you get that connection with your audience. Point number eight, affiliate marketing can be done with or without a website. I would say the most straightforward path to success with affiliate marketing is with a website, right? Just like we saw on that uh, image at the very top, that graphic, the little cycle of affiliate marketing, it starts with the website. People going to your website, reading your content, and they have a question, whatever it is. Maybe you have a chess-related niche, and they say, why does white get to go first? What have you, right? 
when they find your website at the top of the Google search results and you have an article, a full article based on that, now they're basically in, they've, they've opened the doors to your store and they're inside. Now, once they're at your website, you can monetize that traffic in any number of ways, right? That's the most straightforward way. However, you don't even need to have a website. You can actually do affiliate marketing through YouTube. You can do it through social media. That brings us to another point a little bit later. But building a website, which is actually very easy, is the most straightforward path. Point number 10, it's like I wrote this article. Building a website is easy. So even if you've never done it before, and that was me when I first got started, it can sound like a daunting task, right? But what you need, here are the things you need. First, you need a domain. A domain is like the web address, all right? Now, you can build a website on a free domain as you're barely just starting off, or you can end up getting your own later, a, a .com, .net, what have you, a premium domain. They're very inexpensive, right? You also need hosting. What is hosting? Hosting is basically a, a service that monitors your website, keeps it running, protects it from any spam attacks, keeps it secure. So you need a domain and you need hosting. And once you have that, then you just need a theme. A theme is like the aesthetics of your website. Now, all these things, initially, it can sound like, oh man, how would I go about doing that? The training platform that I linked to in the video description uh, walks you step by step through all of that. So if you've never done it before, then I absolutely recommend checking it out. Go through the link down in the video description or wait to the very end screen of this video and it'll take you directly to a full review. It walks you step by step. That's how I did it. I had never built a website before. If I can do it, and I built this website, this website that we're looking at right here in this video, if I can do it, then anyone can. We brought up this point a little uh, earlier. Point number 11, affiliate marketing and social media go hand in hand. Now, you don't technically need a website. You can actually do affiliate marketing through social media. Now, I wouldn't uh, recommend on your social media with all your friends, like trying to, you know, jam down their throats, you know, like a salesman. Oh, here's this thing you want to get. And here's this thing you want to get. That doesn't work, right? Remember the point we made about being honest, being real. But you can, if you're on Facebook, you can create your own Facebook business page where you're going to attract that target audience that is interested in that niche. Or if you're on Instagram, you can create Besides your personal Instagram, you can create like a business Instagram where you can put up content and using hashtags to get your audience that is interested in those items to see your content. That's how you build traffic, right? You can do that through social media. It goes hand in hand with affiliate marketing. Same thing with YouTube. Point number 12, affiliate marketing seems to be disaster proof. Now, we have all just recently lived and it feels like we're at least coming out of a worldwide pandemic, right? Something none of us had lived through before. And what came through from that? Affiliate marketing actually boomed. It was skyrocketing, it was spiking. Now granted, if the internet were to go away tomorrow, yeah, affiliate marketing <laughs> would go away with it. But, you know, that was standing. Nowadays in this current, uh, uh, in this current world that we're living in. People more and more are looking to find ways to work from home. If there's one reason why affiliate marketing is still relevant in 2022, it's because of that fact alone. More and more people looking to work from home. The trend of buying online is massively spiking. Affiliate marketing for that reason seems to be disaster proof. Now, the very last point of why affiliate marketing is still worth it in 2022 and beyond. You are your own boss when you're an affiliate marketer. You are in charge. You call the shots. Now that also means that you are the one in charge of getting your butt to work, right? You can't blame other people. It's all on you. I need to create this content. I need to go and do what is, I need to build this website. I need to do this. It's on you. However, take the pressure off, get the right training. And when you're guided step by step, in fact, when you create your free starter account with the training platform uh, that I link to, you get me as your support coach. I love helping people find their way with affiliate marketing. It was so it was so huge for me that I love the feeling when someone says, hey, 
I want to get started. I'm a stay at home mom. I'm trying to get a little bit extra income to the family. And this is what I'd love to do. I love to cook. I love to, I love helping people kind of, here's the first step. Then here's the second step to find their way in this. So take a look at the end screen coming up in a few minutes and you can take a full look at the full review video I have. I think it's something you would really, really enjoy if you're interested in affiliate marketing in 2022. Final thoughts. In a world where everyone buys everything online, affiliate marketing is a straightforward and affordable way to create a new stream of revenue. The learning curve is low, the demand is high, it's a good combination, and you have no limitations to the direction you choose to go in. So, is affiliate marketing worth it in 2022? Absolutely, yes it is. If you would like to get started with affiliate marketing, Take a look in just a couple of seconds. Click on the videos on the end screen. You can take a look at the full training that I recommend above all others. Create your free starter account. Try it first for yourself to see if it's a good fit. If it's not for you, no harm, no foul. If it is, it is extremely affordable. It is straightforward. It delivers and you get me in your corner. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I enjoyed putting it together. Please like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the questions and comments section below. Don't forget to check out all the links in the video description below, all the pertinent links so you can deep dive into any further questions you have. As always, my name is Eric from workfromyourlaptop.com. I'll see you next time.